Today I will continue with the panel series and in this one we'll be heading into the camera raw section and how it works together with the panel, what you can operate and what it looks like when you're using a panel. We can just hit the raw button over on the left side of the panel. As you can see we have three different raw files today. One is red, one is black magic raw and the last one is ARRI raw. As you probably noticed, when we switch between these clips, the uh, settings in the camera raw section is uh, changing. Before I go through with the panel and show everything that you can operate, keep in mind that I'm not that used to work with raw files more than raw files that I've downloaded from Artlist. There will be settings in the camera raw section, which I don't know really what they do, but if you know, feel free to drop a comment about that then I get the chance to learn from you as well. Before we start, I will just show you what the color management is looking like. Automatic color management is on because we have three different raw files. So if we start off with the red file, if you take a look at the screens of the panel, we can clearly see that we're in raw and we can clearly see what file we are working with. Notice also we have two different menu pages so if we jump to the right we have a few more options to choose from first off we have the iso notice that we control this with a knob it's a drop down menu it's not a slider but that works fine as well and then we have the color temperature the tint which is odd because when you're dragging it up like this it turns towards the green side in the primary panel, usually it's the other way around. The, t the green is uh, to the left. We have control over the exposure adjustment. Then notice that we have the DRX, the brightness and the shadows. And we don't have any sliders for that right now. And that's actually because of the color science we're in. If we change this to original, for example, it opens up a few more options and it changes the image slightly. So just be aware of this, that depending on the color science you set up, the menus will differ. We still have control over the ISO color temp tint, but now the exposure adjustment is called exposure instead. And we also have something that is called the DRX. And the DRX is a slider that I have no idea what it's doing. So drop a comment if you know what. And then we have the brightness and the shadows. And if we jump over one step to the right, we have control over the saturation. And then we have the FLUT. Have no idea what this is doing either. And then we have contrast. Now we have gone through the knobs. If we jump up one step over the screens, we have the eight buttons. The first button is clip settings, which allows us to control the clip settings. Basically, if you turn it off, you can see that decode using is set to camera metadata. If we hit that once, it's now set to clip and it opens up all the adjustments. Then we have uh, use changes and use settings. Those buttons is shown down here. If we would have multiple different red clips, we can easily copy over settings and changes to those clips with these buttons. Then we have revert and reset, which you can find up here in the software. The reset button resets all parameters in the camera raw section to the default. And uh, revert is similar to, it's, it's kind of similar to the previous memory down here on the panel. It changes all the camera raw parameters back to the state they were when you selected the clip. And so for example, if we were to reset this clip, we could easily head back to where we were by hitting revert. And it takes us back to where we were. So we can uh, reset this and head over to the ARRI. Now we can see on the screens that we are working with an ARRI file and the knobs has changed slightly. We have color temperature, we have tint, we have exposure, and now we have sharpness, and then we have highlights, 
and shadows. Then we have color boost. Now we head over to the second menu. We have saturation, midtone detail, lift, and gain, and contrast. So as you can see, it differs slightly. It differs. Uh, so as you can see, it differs a bit from the red file. But other than that, we still have the clip settings. If we hit that, we are now using the camera metadata for the decoding. If we press it again, we're now able to choose the settings ourselves. And the buttons to the right is exactly the same as in the red file. And the grayed out part down here, fine tune red, green, and blue. Those settings we can access by changing the decode quality to, for example, full res. Now we have control over these settings. But we cannot, however, control it with the panel. So this you need to control with the mouse in the software. Then we have one clip left, and that is the Blackmagic RAW clip. So again, here we have a few more adjustments, I would say. First off, the knobs on the left side. So we can change the color science by turning the knob instead, which is nice. I like that. The more you can do within the panel, the better, I think. White balance for Blackmagic RAW file. We have um, a drop down menu, which we can choose from. It kind of reminds me of Lightroom. And the other two knobs is grayed out. It's the color space and the custom gamma. Those are grayed out because we are now using the automatic setting in the color management. So that's why they are grayed out. But still, I like the fact that you can change it with the panel, with the knobs. Then we have standard ISO, uh, color temperature. We have the tint and the exposure. Let's go over to the second menu page. You can see that we have saturation, contrast, midpoint, highlight rolloff, shadow rolloff, white level, black level. And those are all grayed out within the software. These are called the gamma controls. And this is grayed out because we are working color managed with the automatic color management. If we uncheck this and head over into DaVinci YRGB, press save. Now it opens up the gamma controls. Basically, if you're not working color managed and want to dial everything in by yourself, then you have control over the gamma controls. We will see the changes within the image of all these adjustments. Let's head into a color managed workflow again. Now back one page and go over the top buttons. We have already gone through the clip settings. Uh, we have highlight recovery, the checkbox, you can check it and uncheck the gamma compression, also the checkbox down there. We have the video black levels and that is in the gamma control, so it won't be affected right now. And then on the right side, we have access to export frame, which is kind of cool with the Blackmagic RAW file. And the update sidecar is something that relates to Blackmagic RAW files. Specifically, if we just open up the uh, reference manual, manual, you can see the information about it right here. Uh, it has something to do with the metadata of the actual Blackmagic RAW files and how you can update it. And then we have the revert again and the reset button. So that is kind of everything you can control from the panel within the camera raw section of DaVinci. To be honest, in my opinion, I would have loved to see even more configuration from the panel itself, especially with the red files and the array files. I feel like there should be a possibility to have more uh, menu pages. Uh, so for example, if we, we could have maybe four or five different menu pages, which um, allows us to control even more settings with the knobs and the buttons. All right, that's everything for me. Bye bye.